All right, folks, Friday morning, we're coming at you a little later than normal as I wanted to get the big December jobs report out of the way uh, before we film this video. So uh, we're about 30 minutes after the fact. So that announcement has been made. We're about 30 minutes before the open of the market. Uh, what we saw was uh, a big miss on the non-farm payroll front. So they were expecting 422,000 new jobs created in December. We only saw 199,000, so a big miss there. However, on the unemployment rate side, we were looking for a 4.1% unemployment rate, actually saw a 3.9%, and it seems like that's what traders are starting to latch on onto as far as, again, this economy seems to, uh, with all the data that we're seeing, be a bit stronger uh, than what uh, you would tend to believe with everything going on with the COVID variant. So there's still a lot of underlying strength there. And as a result, uh, you're seeing some weakness in the markets again, fearful that the, the strong market and the strong data is gonna cause the Fed to raise rates sooner than expected. So what are we seeing right now? We're seeing the S&P, uh, Dow Jones and NASDAQ down again, that would make three days in a row of weakness in the markets. We're seeing a lot of pressure on tech stocks as we've seen and as you would expect with that strong unemployment rate number. FX, we're seeing a weaker dollar this morning, strength in the euro, strength in the pound, and then jump over to oil. We're still seeing oil trade right around $80 a barrel uh, in WTI. So again, today's number, probably going to create a little more volatility, going to create some uncertainty around what the Fed's going to do, how are they going to treat this, which creates opportunity for you at Nadex to get in there and trade some intraday price action. So let's make it a good Friday. Let's get in there, trade it up, and I'll see you folks again on Monday.